Hello dear all, welcome to my channel Knowledge Hub with HK. Let's jump into today's video. First question here is, the growth and multiplication of microorganism is known as, answer, culture. Culture is nothing but the population of bacteria. Okay. So there are two types of culture. One is the pure and other is mixed culture what is pure and what is mixed culture okay so the pure culture must contain only one single type of bacteria whereas for mixed culture it should contain more than two types different types of bacteria next slide question here is the object contaminated with pathogenic microorganisms are known as fomites here Fomites are nothing but the objects or the material. Uh, here we can say the non-living things which are likely to carry infection due to the presence of pathogenic microorganisms. Example of materials or objects you can include here is uh, clothes, um, furniture and one more you can uh, add here is utensils okay so this can be the examples which act as a form might so that means the source of infection due to the presence of pathogenic microorganism next question uh, is uh, the symbol that indicate the acidity or alkalinity of the solution is termed as answer ph ph stands for potential of hydrogen okay it stands for potential of hydrogen it describes the concentration of hydrogen ion in a solution which means it indicates the acidity uh, it indicates the acidity and the basicity of the solution okay uh, the values of uh, this ph scale ranges from 0 to 14 whereas 7 being a neutral below 7 or less than 7 indicates the acid acidity okay and above 7 or greater than 7 indicates the base okay next question the sunlight possesses bactericidal activity due to the presence of uv rays answer yes the uv rays uh, can kill the bacteria which are emitted from the sunlight and also it also have many other benefits including the uh, disadvantage uh, so we'll, here we'll talk about only the benefits so the another benefit uh, the sunlight uh, provides to us is uh, uh, by the creation of uh, vitamin d okay for the human benefit yes next question the last question of this video and of this series also it is which method is used for sterilization of glasswares like glass syringes, test tubes and conical flask answer hot air oven yes it uses the hot air oven uses dry heat to sterilize it uses uh, the hot air oven can be used to sterilize glasswares as a uh, uh, the question is here glasswares also you can sterilize the metallic instruments including uh, and also some chemicals that are in powder form and oils and some fats okay these things can be sterilized by using hot air oven okay thanks for watching please like share and subscribe and let me know your thoughts in comments below.